exoplanets, or they're sometimes called extrasolar planets, are planets around other stars. And people have speculated about whether there were planets around stars other than our sun for a long time, a millennia, really. Uh, and in the serious scientific literature, people have talked about it for over 150 years. And only in the last two decades have astronomers finally started to find planets around other stars. The discovery started to trickle in at the beginning uh, via a method called the radial velocity method, which involves measuring how fast a star is moving with respect to us. And most stars just maintain pretty much a constant radial velocity with respect to our sun. But some stars appear to sometimes be moving a little towards our sun and sometimes a little away, periodically. And the only model that people can think of that would explain that is if it's not actually just in a line moving towards and away from us, but it's actually moving in a circular orbit. And we're only measuring the line of sight component of the velocity. The line of sight component of the velocity is sometimes towards us and sometimes away. What would make a star move around a little circle? Well, if it's in an orbit around something that we don't see. So if the inferred mass of the unseen companion is low enough, then it's a planetary mass object, and uh, we infer that there's an exoplanet there. Well, there's some so-called citizen science projects uh, specifically affiliated with the Kepler mission. Kepler is a satellite that's staring at a single field of view on the sky for its mission lifetime of about half a decade and is looking at about 150,000 stars and is monitoring them for the slight periodic dips in the starlight that occur if an exoplanet's orbit is oriented basically perfectly edge on with respect to our line of sight so that once every orbit the planet crosses our line of sight and blocks a little bit of the star's light. He and I are actually working on a project together looking at in what circumstances it would be not surprising and in what circumstances it would be surprising to see an exo-Saturn. In other words, a, a ringed planet with a ring system similar to Saturn's around another star. He and I are doing some uh, calculations to figure out exactly where the transition point is between when it would be really shocking to see an exo-Saturn and where it wouldn't be so shocking. And maybe, uh, sometime in the next year or so in the Kepler data, someone actually will find a ringed planet. And we want to know whether it's a, a shock or just a, uh, a less shocking, still uh, happy surprise. It started at Princeton University uh, about eight years ago or so by Jill Knapp and Professor uh, Jillian Knapp and Mark Krumholtz, who was then a postdoc at Princeton and is now a professor at UC Santa Cruz. Uh, I joined the program about two years after it was started, and uh, it, it's a tremendously fulfilling program. We offer um, college-accredited classes, uh, so the inmates get college credit at local New Jersey community colleges, and they can apply these credits when they leave prison to any New Jersey community college. They can also apply them to getting a degree at Rutgers. And uh, several of our former students have gone on and gotten degrees at Rutgers after leaving.